To make a great wine, we need perfect grapes. And to get the perfect grapes, we need to harvest at exact the right time. To harvest at the right time, we need to take three aspects into consideration. The first is taste. The taste of the berries will show you what the flavors you will have in the end of the day in the wine itself. The second aspect we look at is sugar. There's a correlation between the sugar contact and the alcohol in the end of the day that will be in the wine itself. The higher the sugar, the higher the alcohol. The third thing we look at is acid. If the acid is too high, we will struggle with fermentation. And if the acid is too low, there won't be enough protection in wine itself in the end of the day. To get the sugar and the acid, we need to send some berries into the lab so that they can determine what the sugar and the acid is in the wine itself. If all three things are correct, the taste, the sugar and the acid, we will know it's time to harvest. To make proper red wine, you can't just press the red grapes like it is as it comes in from outside. To keep the wine at optimum temperature, we use water coolant to keep the temperature at a certain degree. Otherwise, the fermentation process will make the juice way too warm. All the flavors and the colors of the red wine is in the skins of the grapes. So to get the flavors and the colors out of the skin, we need to make the contact between the skin and the juice that is in the red wine itself. As you can see here, they are busy mixing the skins and the red juice with each other. After 
four to five days of mixing the skins and the juice with each other you will get a nice dark color wine in the end of the day full of flavorants and some tannins here we are testing the fermentation of the juice by measuring the bricks in the wine after the color extraction has happened in the open fermentation tanks and the berries has been pressed the juice will mostly move from these tanks to the concrete fermentation tanks with hard work they are pressing the last bit of juice out of the berries here we just have the skins of the grapes left. In these tanks, the alcoholic fermentation will be completed where all the sugar will be converted to alcohol. After that, the second fermentation will start. This fermentation is caused by a bacteria that is naturally in the wine itself. What happens is malic acid gets transferred to lactic acid. Malic acid doesn't taste very nice, where lactic acid is a much better tasting acid in the wine itself. The fermentation process takes about two, one to two months if everything goes well, and the wine will be almost then be completed, except it will still have a very young taste. After the fermentation has taken place in the other cellar, a much cleaner wine will move to this cellar where the aging will take place of the wine. Most of the aging of the wine takes place in stain and steel tanks where we will put some wood in. After six months to a year, the wine will have a much softer and older taste to it. The best wine we make will be put into barrels. Barrels give a much better taste to the wine than the stain and teal steel tanks will. And the reason for that is the wood and the air combination of barrels. The wood of the barrels can breathe and thus the air may contact with the wine and give it even a much more softer and fruity, woody taste. There's only one problem by using barrels and that it's a very very expensive process because this barrel alone costs a lot of money when the aging process is finished the wine gets clean and stabilized before bottling 